Pterodactyl one here and today we're doing the starting the new series the top ten eight five whatever number it is and we're doing the top ten weirdest slaws in the world. Number one. Oh Mer 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 Mercury in retrograde. How about laws in retrograde? For reasons unknown, these laws are still in place. In seven U.S. states. Wow. In, in seven? Hmm. According to the constitutions, eth ethicists are buried from holding public office. Sodium is illegal in general. In Idaho, Utah, Michigan, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana. In these states, sodium is only illegal for homosexuals. Montana, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, all sex is often considered sodium by many states according to Hebrew Bible. Except strangely, you don't need see people equally outraged about this as they are about gay sex. In Turkey, marriage was still illegal in Alabama, Alabama, Alabama in two thousand. Hmm. Not until two thousand eight did the UN Security Council pass UN Security. Security Council Resol Resolution Number Eight One Thousand Eight Hundred Twenty, which declared rape and other forms of sexual violence a war crime, a crime against humanity, and a constitutive act with respect and uh, yeah, namic namicide, arising from the conflict in Balk Balkans Balkans in which violating women became an consensus weapon of war. Okay, that kind of makes sense. I don't think that's a weird law because it makes sense because when Japan went to go invade China way back when, before World War II, I think it was, World War I or World War II, before World War I or World War II, um, they went to China, they invaded it, and they had, they basically raped women. That's all they did, and after they raped them, they basically either sold them, or killed them, or stuff like that. Just a little interesting information if you want to know that. If you didn't, oh well, I guess. Since 1986, U.S. authorities have had legal rights to access any 180-day-old emails without a warrant? Really? So if I send an email, 180 days later, that email can be accessed without a warrant? But at 181 days, it can be, has to be accessed with a warrant? That makes no sense. Well, Hillary Clinton should have had that. Two million days. <laughs> in Mobile, Alabama, it is against the law to throw confetti or spray silly string. Okay. Who is the idiot who made up this law? Just, just why? Why would you make up this law? It just doesn't make any sense. Why would you make up this law? Silly string is just for fun. Confetti could be you at a party. As long as you clean it up, I don't care. In Saudi Arabia, it is illegal for any woman to drive a car right now. It is illegal for them to vote too. Apparently, it is becoming illegal in 2015. How sweet. Yeah, I think Saudi Arabia should just be bombed because they don't treat women fairly. In da Dabui Exterminatals, e Exterminatals, 
unprofessional sex is against the law and could result in jail sentence for over a year, which means that in rape cases, both the victim and the predator could end up being charged with the same crime. That is so weird. I don't know where I'm on. Let me open this in Chrome. And let's do this. And let's go to Google Maps. That's Gmail. I'm gonna go to Google Maps. Just search it. Interesting. Alright. In Saudi Arabia, oh no, here's another stupid one. There's no minimum age for marriage. In 2008, Saudi Arabia court refused an 8 year old girl who asked for a diver. Di di apparently, I can't speak. For a divorce from her 58 year old husband? Jeez. Lesson learned. Do not, if you're young, do not marry a super, super, super old person. In 29 states in the U.S., it is illegal to fire someone for being gay. What? What? Um. What? I don't care who you are. If you're gay, straight, bisexual, transgender, I don't know. I don't care. You, sh it's who you are. You shouldn't deserve to be fired. That's just wrong. Anyway, this is the end of part one. Hopefully you enjoyed, and subscribe, and good. Mm -hmm.